Hello everybody, welcome to the first match of the first round of the Blood Bowl 3 playoffs. Um, this is the Chalice, yep, the 16 teams qualified, so there's 8 matches. It's been a right pain to catch up to all of the games in Blood Bowl 2 Chalice. And, you know, I went away for the weekend to the UKTC, so I've been... A bit delayed covering these matches um, but we're finally going to go through them now so yeah this is the Blood Bowl 3 playoffs relying on restreaming either people's streams or discord streams that they, that they did and uh, oh yeah and so this was this was streamed by Elliot um, which you can find his twitch in the in the video description and uh, so yes the chat is going to be confusing isn't it maybe I should move my chat um, so that it's not on top of the other chat <laughs> that's an idea isn't it maybe if I move this over here we need to wait right so 840 gold they can't buy the overdog can't buy inducements right um, okay, yeah, so that's where they're, so yes, yeah, so we've got two, so that, that the chat there is, uh, wait, can you see my mouse? Yes. So, this is Elliot's chat, and <laughs> this is my chat. <laughs> so they're looking through the teams, so, <laughs> I don't know what any of these <laughs> mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. So these are wrestlers, right? These are blockers slash wrestlers. Uh, this is... Oh, this is Old World. Oh no, it's Old World Alliance. No, these are linemen then? With the picked wrestle. This is a catcher that's got block, sidestep, guard. Is that break tackle? Maybe he took a random strength. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> oh, good afternoon. You, you sounded like you needed help. <laughs> oh, thank you. I do. <laughs> in, in more ways than one. Thank you. I might, very much. I might not be able to stay for very long, but we'll, we'll see how long I get. <laughs> Glorious. Um, yeah, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky knowing all the, like because I, I uh, my idea was you see like if we had if we had Cabal Vision. I could you my mod would be in in effect, wouldn't it? And I could see the old icons. But unfortunately, with this restreaming business, which is terrible, I I agree hundred um, percent. Yeah, just got to rely on on these icons that I don't really know. <laughs> Pretty good. Sorry, I'm back. It's just okay. No problem. J Java's better because with Java you can uh, you can just like write your own things, can't you? The fumble's much better than these icons that are completely nonsensical and blend into each other, and they're terrible, aren't they? I mean, do, do you agree, Elia, that these uh, these they're almost redeemed by the sneaky git icon, but not quite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the sneaky get icon's pretty great. But yeah, so, something about they're just messy and not easy to read, right? Like, the thing is, the Blood Bowl 2 icons weren't great either, but these are somehow kind of worse. <laughs> yeah, it's because they're all, like, two-tone, aren't they? They're all, like, just, yeah. like, black and white and then one colour, so they all just they all just blend into each other instantly. Like, it's, it's hard. And obviously, like, you would get used to it because, you know, humans get used to anything, don't they? Um... It's the strengths are kind of easier because there's fewer viable strength skills, I guess. Right? People are only taking guard, mighty blow, and stand firm mostly. So it's still easy at a glance to see where the, the guards are here. We've got three guards. We've got no mighty blows. Um, is this? Oh, this is Nick's game. <laughs> uh. Biggest brain. So it's Dolce that has the dwarf blockers for the Brito. Yes, Nick has Nick is got elves, obviously. Oh yeah. Oh, d doesn't have the dwarf blocker, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. Nick has taken elves. Um, you know they're a good team. <laughs> well, like one of the best, right? It's arguable what uh -huh, the best uh -huh. team yep. is. There are 
There are five teams that are the best in this format, which are Dwarves, um, Orcs, Pro Elves, um, well, the other is Dark Elves and Skaven. And then for this format, um, Chaos and Nurgle become good again, don't they? Because they've just played so many games that they've actually, you know, cast yeah, off yes. their early team. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe. The, the, the Nurgle team looks terrifying, honestly, in this. I think the Nurgle team looked amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so... Right, there's some... So this... this Arrow is dodge, isn't it? So there's lots of that. There's lots of dodge. Yeah, the, the wavy yellow arrow. Yep. Yeah, that's a sneaky git. And presumably dirty player on the same guy. <laughs> Only one sneaky git for Nick. I wonder how many sneaky gits Elliot's got on his team. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Um, yeah, Gudani gun undervaluing the sneaky git here, I think. Yeah. If you swap the number of dodge and sneaky git, then we're possibly getting to somewhere near the uh, <laughs> optimal number of sneaky git. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, I forget who was coaching the Nurgle team, to be honest, Game of Vision. But, uh, is that a shadowing? Oh, yes, also, this is a bit confused by randoms, right? Because obviously, uh, everybody, once the format of the finals had been decided, Realize that you know they might as well random things than than not have anything right. So there's there's a bunch of randoms that have been taken, um, but mostly block and dodge and sidestep are pretty obvious. Um, and he's up against. So this is Gadenik after all that. Sorry, that's Gadenik's uh, team, and he is up against uh, Old World Alliance, which I must confess I misjudged. Um, when, when you know we found out about them, I thought they were they would be rubbish, and a lot of people did, didn't they? Uh huh. I thought they would be rubbish. But when you think about it, they're not that much worse than humans, right? Like, I think we were all to blame for undervaluing them. Like, I think it was a. Uh, we should have all seen that they weren't as bad as we thought. If you see what I mean, because like they're pretty obviously just like a little bit worse than humans. Um, they're not like tons worse. Than um, I mean, maybe. Honestly, I'm. I feel like maybe they're on on par with, or maybe a little bit better than humans. Like they got the AV nine guys to get punched right, and they got the tree man. They don't. They don't have the the catchers right and the blitzers. I guess the, the numbers. Yeah. 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 So like they're, they're pretty. They're pretty close to humans. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah whether you yeah. think they're maybe a bit better or maybe a bit worse, they're actually pretty close. Yeah. The loan is like a bit of a problem, but and it does it does matter in like those kind of clutch players, right? Like obviously, if you've got four blitzers, that's a core that you can do a lot of things with. And here, a lot of those core players have got loan, which makes them, you know, kind of significantly worse, really. Which is why we all didn't rate them. But um, and and. Dolce here hasn't even taken the uh, the like long beard equivalents, <laughs> whatever they're called, old world dwarf linemen. Um, he hasn't even taken those, which are which are pretty decent. I th I think they're pretty decent to just stand on the LOS and take hits. Yeah. But it's, Maybe they died or something. Yeah. It's it's funny how much better a tree man is than an ogre, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Four. Rick with a massive rowdy raid. Thank you very much, Rick. Glorious. Wait, no, that's wrong. That was wrong. That was that was Elliot's, wasn't it? Or was that no. mine? No, that was yours. That was mine. <laughs> that was bamboozle. That was literally bamboozle for a second. I was like, wait, is that? <laughs> oh god, this is too confusing. On um, my chat, Hancock's talking about sniffing Gudanik. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, so this is Restream of Elliot's stream um, because there's obviously no Cabal Vision. So I was led to believe that everybody had agreed to be restreamed when I agreed to stream them <laughs> because it's kind of you would kind of think that, right? Like you wouldn't agree to stream restream them if they hadn't agreed to restream them. So I've have, I've have messaged Jack, and hopefully it will all be made clear to everybody. And 
and it'll all be okay and above board in future. But um, yeah, Elliot has very graciously allowed me to stream, um, restream his and Nick's matches um, that have taken place in the cup so far. So thank you very much, Elliot. I yeah I um, I did create a vod, but I I'm pretty sure there was no uh, nothing about restreaming it. I just thought it was like for like cheating purposes, right? To um, to check that it, people weren't cheating and that kind of stuff. But yeah, yeah, I know it's just fucked. Like the, the whole game is just fucked. Is the problem, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, but fundamentally, that's yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the root problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I mean, that is that is. Oh no, that hasn't been made one yet. Mad skills, no. So yeah, that is, we don't have the Cabal Vision. It's scheduled for like six months time or something, or, or more than that, right? Seven months or something. So, um, or something like that, yeah. Something like seven months, I don't know, six months. So, what, however long it is, a few months until we even have uh, replays, uh, not re yeah, replays and uh, be able to watch live matches. So so yeah, anyway, all World Alliance, not that bit, not that bad, because the Tree Man is really good. And loner dwarves are nearly, nearly as good as humans, and one catcher is nearly as good as four because, like, often people don't have all of the cat. Yeah. Wow, this is a very aggressive from Nick, isn't it? Mm. Well, the ball's quite deep, isn't it? So it's you know kind of kind of fair. Could put a bit of pressure on. Yeah, he's so got the five re rolls as well, so we're willing to you know roll some dice. Yeah, yeah, he's so disconnected the the front line and the ball carrier. Wow, super rowdy. So yeah, I mean, well, mad skills. What I'll do is I'll I'll put like you know in in the in the descriptions of the, all of the uh, all of the games will give credit to the original the original people, of course. So Elliot, uh, El, not Elliot, Gdynik has to worry about getting served here, doesn't he? So he does have to cut the corner there. <laughs> yes, to run. Yeah, no, not gonna, not gonna play anytime soon. It does look better on these like lower settings, doesn't it? I, I guess you've done the same as me, like lower the settings there, Elliot. Yeah, everything except like the textures also been. Because that just makes the dice look so hollow. Um, I couldn't deal with it, so <laughs> yeah, I lo lowered everything else. I mean, I can't deal with it anyway, but I can deal with it less. <laughs> oh dear! So it's a bit of a pincer movement here, isn't it? A player on either side. Uh, I mm, got it. Now I can see. So you've got a player on either side there, and the the, the blood stepper on the ball. Very tricky, already pretty tricky for uh, Dolce to uh, deal with this. I don't have problems with low resolution. I just have problems with it looking like rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gdynik's round one of the uh, Blood Bowl 3 Chalice versus Dolce. And Bolly Nolly. Mm. And this, it's annoying because this, this, this. <laughs> the chat right in the middle of the screen is a bit extreme, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 messed up. For my for my semi, I'll try and turn everything off, but for my quarter final, it's gonna be like this as well. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, mate. Don't don't worry about it. It's not. It's not anything you should worry about, is it? At the end of the day. I, I, I guess no. Like it's nice that it gets like casted and you know, you know having like the Cuny involved, having like the Chalice replays. It's good, right? Like, so trying to make that better is is probably a good thing. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Spoilers. Well, this is this is Nick's match. Nick might have lost, <laughs> and uh, and it, or he might be he might be casting Nick. So. You know, who knows? Who knows what's oh, happening? Oh, yes, sorry. Yeah, spoilers, of course. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody knows anything that's happening. Okay, I was so just he, speaking hypothetically. Yep. He got out of there anyway. He had a mighty blow tackler that um, was his blitzer, right, by the looks of it. Got back. Um, and he's tucked in with the uh, a five, a level six dwarf blitzer here. 
Guard Mighty Blow Stun Firm Dodge Tackle. Pretty nice. He's just moved away his cage corner. What? Oh, he's got a guy here. Some terrible camel work here, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Nick was at the helm, uh, controlling the camera, so you know the the things are happening where he moves them. Actually, honestly, we can move the camera, we can move the chat back there because you, yours is actually quite low down, isn't it? It's probably better to have. Yeah. It's probably better to just have mine above it rather than in the middle of the screen, which is a bit bit mad. <laughs> oh my god! I've just realised. You're going to have to watch some matches in horizontal <laughs> in horizontal view. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I think I would watch them horizontally, honestly. Um, really, yeah, fair bit. Yeah, I remember in like the, f the first or second beta, I thought this would actually be pretty good. What, like, you yeah. know, casting the matches like this? Maybe maybe not so much playing them, um, but I thought casting them could be cool. And then obviously, yeah. I don't think any view is very good for playing them right now, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But that could be the answer for casting. <laughs> if Cabal Vision worked. Oh dear. So Nick's just going in. Oh, so another thing about these playoffs is they are resurrection because they, are, they have to be played in a friendly format um, because it's simply not possible to run leagues or competitions and there's there are no admin tools of any kind <laughs> um in blood bowl 3 so these are all friendly games played um on steam um are they, no, no it's not through steam is it is through the game itself through the game's friends list yeah 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 in blood bowl 2 they're done through steam and in blood bowl 3 it's through the through the friends list um so because it's a friendly game, it, it it can be set for overtime, which is pretty incredible, isn't it? That, that's actually surprising and good, I think. Mm, yeah. There's a positive for you. <laughs> yeah. If you think, There's one. Yep. If you think we're all super negative, uh, there is an actual pretty good positive, honestly. Like, I think that is, is pretty cool that you can have, like... Um, I, I guess you can choose... I, mean, I, I haven't set it up. Can you choose to have a... Uh, can you choose to have it... Um, go to overtime, or can you just choose to accept draws? Um, I don't know. Uh, there is a settings button, so yeah, maybe it's in the settings. You can change that. Mm -hmm. Set that. It can even be set to RT with reroll regeneration. Yes, there are some random bugs that can make the rerolls come back. Yes. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, we can't say spoiler alert because there's lots of bugs <laughs> about, about pretty much everything in the game. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, there's there's so many bugs. Um... Yeah, that's that's totally boring. <laughs> I just wanted to do a shit joke. <laughs> At least the mu the music is loud. Do you think I did turn it down a little bit? I'll turn it down a bit more. Oh wait, is that going to turn this black? Oh, it's going to turn this black for a second. Oh, I can just turn it back. Okay, I can turn it loud here. I can turn it. Oh, then that'll turn Elliot down. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um. Oh god. Okay, I'll pause it for a second. Oh, I don't know how to do it. Okay. Oh, it's too loud. I can't do it. I can't. I can't change it because Elliot will be too quiet. Otherwise, so we're just gonna have to have loud. We're just gonna have to have it loud, okay? <laughs> and it'll take me a while to change the settings and the thing. Oh no, maybe there is a way I can do it. Are you being so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on holiday and you and like you can't even fucking qualify? Hey, look, Duran, this is you pretty good, right? More this fucking is. Rats. What the fuck? This is pretty Why good. Why would anyone it's, play it's, that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. We've got difficulties with the limitations of the uh, of the client, right? There's, there's no, there's absolutely no re replaying thing at all. Um, perfect. 
so I can turn it down a bit. There we go. Got it sorted. Well done, Jim. Good job, good job. Thanks. <laughs> Proudest thing that I'm proud of there. More um, intelligent than DACA confirmed. Yes, yeah, yeah, I thought, that's one thing you can't change, isn't it, really? Really, we should all have really low intelligence and wisdom scores, because yeah. <laughs> because we can't blag that. We can blag that we're, that we're you know, that, that, we're, is simply that we're not dexterous true. or strong the and stuff. The does not support like, your assertion. How do you roleplay being more intelligent than you are? Mm. Or, or also, more wise or, than you are? Also charisma, right? Like, I, <laughs> my charisma roll has got me through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Charisma's okay because you don't have to like you can just say I will convince this person yeah, or something. Yeah, fair, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. But like you literally can't Yeah. You can't be more wise than your character. Like you know, like unless the DM helps you. Like the DM can help you, I guess, by like saying uh, your character will realize this and stuff. <laughs> but it seems really hard to roleplay somebody more intelligent and more wise than yourself. Yeah, it was the charisma you can just describe it like, yeah, I'll, I'll... Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> mm. like maybe there were some things that Jack was expecting us to figure out in like the first episode that we like still not real placed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I right. Oh yeah, so there you go, Nolly. So yeah, so maybe we could say I uh, use my knowledge of being a uh, of being a member of the Grey to figure out what the hell is happening. <laughs> can you tell me, Jack <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a big, that was a big blitz, wasn't it? There, if that guy had uh, gone down, I think that would have been pretty good. But as it is, everything stood on, everything stood up for the old world alliance here, and they can knock everyone down. But I mean, it's hard for them, right? They don't have too much tackle. One of the, wait, one of these two's tackle, isn't it? Is one DP? I assume this is tackle. Uh, can you see? Yeah, I assume this one's tackle, Elliot. If you can see this guy, mighty blow tackle, right? That uh, yes. Yeah. That... It's, it's just hard because there's the delay as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the dwarf it's... blitzer. Oh wait, no, the human blitzer. Yeah. Both blitzers yeah, have got tackle. Oh right? yeah, yeah. Both blitzers have got tackle. Yeah. Is this dirty player that's got a foot? I assume yeah, that's... the foot that's pointed. It's the ninety degree rotated foot. Yeah, yes. Oh, it's um, kicking somebody yeah. in the crotch, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's balls versus, like, ankle, yeah. Hmm. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, honest, honestly, the, the, in Five Idiots, the biggest obstacle has been our literal intelligence <laughs> of the players. <laughs> So yeah, so I think I feel quite proud that Dak has got an intelligence of eight. That's something that I feel I can maybe live up to. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking about. It was pretty clear to be right from the beginning that the cause of the problem was the carotene in the soil. <laughs> and we just ate, we just ate the, we just ate the bar meat, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, like, yeah, no sure, problem sure with it. Like that. <laughs> now, now you're just eating your rations. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, that's enough, that's enough of that. I mean, it might be like you know radiation or like lead poisoning or something, right? Like it, you know, the more the more more is worse, you know. Mm. Yeah. yeah, fair. I'm all in on it now. I don't care. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> so there are a few tacklers. Yes. Um... Mm. Four, four, I think. Yeah, four. <laughs> hey, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking in both chats. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you just made Blood Bowl 3 in general. Yeah, fair. That's fair. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough, isn't it? it, it is. <laughs> Look, there he is. <laughs> It's tough to um It's tough to deal with, but it's really cool that like, you know, this uh this community thing has happened, isn't it? You know, trying to battle away with what yep. tools we have. No no credit to Yak and, and you know Nolly, the admins and everybody, you know. It's very good of them to try and try and set something up, you know, better than nothing for sure. Hopefully it will, you know, improve as the game improves. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed the cup and that in uh, Blood Bowl 2. Yeah. 
you know, in a few months with admin tools and reconnections and uh, cabal vision uh, and, you know, maybe a working game. <laughs> not, um, not yet a bit to my boy, <laughs> but, but hopefully it will. Yeah, it's improved a bit, right? It's improved a bit since launch. They fixed the odd bug since launch. It improved a bit in like the first two weeks, but then it's been like quiet since then, so I'm getting a bit worried again now. Yeah, true. <laughs> Have they finished fixing it? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. It's. Because it's, it, for them, it's got to be worth it, hasn't it? That, like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an annoying thing, right? You you can't see the, the stat ups. Oh, them. yeah. Terrible, yeah. So, so you can see here that he's got movement 9 and strength 4, but yeah. if you just look at him, you can't. So that makes that makes things like you know move up and strength up way more powerful because they're oh, yeah <laughs> they're uh, they're sneaky <laughs> yeah 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 pretty sure I've done some one Ds on plus strength players by mistake <laughs> already yeah yeah so that maybe that's maybe that's gonna put Nick's team over the edge the stats that he's got that people won't even realise. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. Like it, it's it's hard to say, isn't it? it, it it's got to be worth it for them to fix. Is the, is the problem, isn't it? Like yeah. financially worth it, and is it? Uh, uh. <laughs> um, it almost doesn't matter. How, like how much Gautier likes Blood Bowl or yeah. or anything like that. It, the only thing that matters is 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 it worth them fixing it and. You know, they, uh, they, 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 he certainly act like they wanted to fix it, didn't he? Uh, you know, on Owab, he, he was talking a little bit, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, and they kind of have a statement of intent in a way with, like, the roadmap and, like, the plans for new releases of teams, that kind of thing, right? Yeah. But it can all be, like, you know, just pulled out if <laughs> if they just, if the if the publishers decide not to <laughs> give them any more money, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's, so, yeah, that's, that, that's the problem, isn't it, yeah. The only thing that matters is the dollars at the end of the day, and mm -hmm. the bean counters, as some people say. Mm. I've heard that. That's a real thing, isn't it? I've heard that before. I've never heard it before. <laughs> Haven't you? No, I, I have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I was, I was trying to like you know just destroy your 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 entire world. You know, I was trying to you know <laughs> send you into a spiral of like not knowing what's real or not. <laughs> you know, I, could, I just thought like maybe it was some kind of lesbian thing or something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the etymology, but I don't, don't think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like bean flickers, bean, oh, bean we'll counters. Find out more about these boobies. <laughs> Boo beans. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Moving. Anyway. <laughs> I am a boomer. I am a well. I'm not a boomer, am I? It's just that young people now want to act like people who are forty or eighty, but that isn't the case. Dickhead. <laughs> Ooh, oh, savage. <laughs> anyway. Whew. It, it, it is kind of interesting that, anyway, uh, got sidetracked a little bit there, but the fact that it's, uh, it is a res format doesn't, mm -hmm. it is interesting. That's why I was, it's, we got sidetracked, but that was the initial. <laughs> I, I think, the, I think talking about the game is the sidetrack. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, it's what you're right though. Yeah. It f favors the elves a little bit, right? Yeah, and and it will it will make like you know maybe Nick wouldn't be playing like this if it wasn't Res, right? Like his maybe, whole strategies could be affected. Maybe yeah, although I'm always a bit suspicious of that because for me I feel like I don't too much you know like in the like the playoff games right like if the players die they die right I'm you know gonna kind of do what I will them but yeah for, for for sure it can have it can have some some impact yeah on, on how you play. Hmm. 
Like, obviously, you still want to win the game, so, like, he wouldn't just do something stupid. Like, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. But he's got about 15 players or whatever, hasn't he? So, like, if this was... Like, I think things do change in the final a bit, maybe, compared to the previous rounds, because there isn't another game. So, so it will change it a bit, but, it's, yeah, it's not going to change it, like, wholesale. It's not, yeah. not going to... He's not going to turn into a raving lunatic because, well, my players can't die. <laughs> but it might, you know, it might cause him to be a little bit more adventurous than maybe he's, he otherwise would be or a bit a bit more aggressive or, or something like that. He's not going to do any fouls with his good players to try and get them sent off. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Yes, I think people overestimated that though, Nolly. I think almost all of your equity is wrapped up in the current game, right? Because there's so much luck involved in. Blood yeah, Bowl. that's the thing. Like I say, right? Like I, I'm, you know, I, it, it for me, I think it changes very little. But you know, if, fair enough. It probably changes a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. But just because you need those players to win, like that's what, like at the end of the day, if you've got like a twelve-man elf team, yeah, exactly. It, it doesn't matter if they're perm injuries. If you lose five yeah, players yeah. in the first half, you ain't gonna win the second half. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so Nick has now calmed down a little bit. Actually, he, he was pretty aggro before, didn't he? He lost a few players, and now he is going a bit more. Uh, Cautious. Ooh. Yeah, I guess he kind of pulled himself into it with the first turn, right? The aggressive first turn, which I quite liked. And then he kind of he had a few like half chances at the ball and that kind of thing that like kept his players based up. Mm. And now they're kind of like naturally separated. And also gone off the pitch. There's his, there's his fouling weapon that hasn't been able to foul yet, I don't think. There's a good argument for trying to take that out, if, uh, mm. if Dolce can. Uh, if you don't know, Elliot has uh, <laughs> has won a major on Fumble, and he, he did it in part by bashing out <laughs> an Orc team with Pro Elves. <laughs> I, I'd say about 99 parts out of 100, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> It seems a it seems a pretty good thing to do, doesn't it? It does. It does. Out outbashed many other teams along the way as well. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, but like honestly, like elves with like sneaky get dirty play is just outrageous. You know, like giving, giving elves that removal power is pretty damn good. Yeah, it is. Pretty it strong. is funny, isn't it? It is funny that like they get the best access to it, pretty much, don't they? Frenzy guard dodge diving tackle Neiman Neiman. Uh, thank you. And he's got a side tap, yeah, because he's a player, so yeah. Yeah, I think he's got a side, uh, diving tackle on both the blitzers. Yeah, the other one's got dodge guard side step, uh, not side step, uh, diving tackle. Like, because he's diving tackle. Reads it higher than I do, I think. I'm, um, I mean, it's okay, isn't it? But probably. I think I'd probably just go for stats at that point, right? Mm, well, there, yes, I probably would as well. However, there is the argument on Blood Bowl 3 specifically <laughs> that Diving Tackle becomes a oh. very good skill indeed. Oh, uh, wait, it's, it's, it's bugged somehow, I'm guessing. How does that work? It's bugged in several ways. Oh, um, right, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it can work while you're prone. As long as, oh, as, long as okay. they're based with somebody else. <laughs> okay, okay, nice, nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> yep, and also it can not put you on the ground sometimes as well. Oh, cool, cool. So it loses like all the downsides, though, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it, it, gets, it, gets some big, uh, it gets some big buffs sometimes. Um, and it's interesting. It, it also depends as well, like, I think it... Diving Tackle's really good for locking down games you're ahead in, isn't it? That's what it's really for, I think. Um, it's like games you're yeah. ahead, it shuts down. And it depends, like, what you value in terms of, like, locking down games you're ahead or giving yourself a shot in games you're not ahead yeah. or maybe behind. Um, it, it, it can really, like, increase the pressure on, on any given turn. Like, when, when you're going for the big pressure turns, you could really, like put on a lot more pressure if you're basing people with a DT and that 
<coughs> I'm dying. That can like lock down a team and make things safe, like you say, or it could give you a chance to make them fail something, like right, to get back into it or something. And and then you've got to consider like compared to getting a stat, isn't it? And uh, yeah, 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 and so like it it, 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 this is a kind of a bad example, but I'm going to say it anyway. It's, it, it's a bit like. Uh, when you're taking like your skills for your elves, right? You can go block first, wrestle first, or dodge first. And dodge is probably the most useful most of the time. But I tend to like to go wrestle because it helps me out in the harder games versus the dwarves. But yeah. there's a lot to be said for going dodge first because that's helping you out in more games. It's usually the best option, isn't it? Yep. And, and I guess block can kind of help you high roll a bit right like killing people and that kind of thing yeah wow we're going for the ball Ooh, i guess he's kind of given up a little bit on the drive maybe yeah. no fails the dodge oh was that a catcher is that a catcher with the ball so yes yeah, so it's going to be 2d uh yeah yes yes fails the dodge in kills himself and yeah now he's definitely giving up the drive isn't he i think I mean, it's more high roll than wrestle or dodge in a way, isn't it, to me? Yeah. You're, you're knocking down people more. Yeah, especially low TV. Um, you know, block is... I, I often take block on zombies first skill at low TV just because it's it's giving, like, you know, people love to say dirty player, but at the end of the day, giving, getting reliable blocks, more knockdowns is good, isn't it? And uh, obviously high elves tend to go block first because you've only got two blitzers. Uh, with dark elves, yes, yeah. you've, you've got f you know you've got three blocks, or so getting wrestle is more tempting. But yeah, low TV block, block as a kill skill is pretty good, isn't it? And yeah. then later on, wrestle you know block doesn't become as much of a kill skill. So then wrestle just gives you that extra utility. Is generally better for elves. Uh, but you obviously still want some block guys. But you, you want to mix, don't you? Eventually. And, and yeah. So early on, that that mix tilts towards block because it's it is a kill skill, ultimately, and wrestle isn't. <laughs> well, unless you got a sneaky git <laughs> waiting for the guy <laughs> to go on the floor. <laughs> true, true, true. And and dodge, dodge, you know, dodge is just really good at winning games of blood ball as well. So it is it is kind of interesting, and and that thing of what you know whether you go block, dodge, wrestle is it's. it's it's a little bit similar in this diamond tackle. It's the same kind of idea in that there's different pros and cons for different skills, isn't there? Yeah, sure. And I guess I guess Nick likes diamond. <laughs> oh, that's a long, a lot of words and time to say. <laughs> Nick likes diving tackle more than we do. <laughs> but it's not just about his assessment. It's not just his rating of the skill. It's what he wants it to do, isn't it? It doesn't necessarily yeah, mean yeah. that he rates it higher than us. Just he wants what it provides more than we want what it provides. It doesn't um, necessarily mean that he, he rates it higher. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, sad yeah. Sorry, sadly not doing now. They, fi they did fix that one. Disappointingly, they fixed that one. Oh, that was the most fun I had. <laughs> it was against the AI as well, by the way. I wasn't yeah, being no, a scumbag doing it to a human. No, mine was against the real human. Yeah, abs absolute scumbag confirmed. <laughs> I had a lot of I had a lot of fun doing it against the AI. Holy moly! Like it was just incredible. I just didn't believe it worked, and then no, <laughs> I did it, and it, it worked. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah. It's funny how the best things in Blood Bowl two and three have come from uh, yeah. have come from fouling bugs. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Is this Hail Mary pass or something that that, that thrower has? Block dodge, H and um, or safe oh, pair of hands maybe. Mm, yeah, I can't remember. Doesn't look like he's. But it looks like he's keeping. It looks like he's catching it. That could be safe pair of hands, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah, say per pan. Say, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good job, chat. Thank you, chat. The, the Blood Bowl 3 veterans. <laughs> I assume that was a random because I can't imagine anybody would pick a safe pair of hands. Well, not nobody in the top 16. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, somebody will pick anything, right? 
Which I guess is fine, like that's... I remember when I used to play Magic, they would always talk about skill testing cards and, you know, how bad cards have to exist. And, uh, for, you know, it, it kind of yeah, makes sense, right? Sense. You, you, you have to have bad cards to have good cards. Um, yeah, I, 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 I guess. But do you need good cards? <laughs> like, why can't every card be this? Like, oh, in Blood Bowl, I mean, do you need good skills? Why can't, you know, would it break if every skill was, like, equally good? I, I guess, yeah, I guess, you know, okay, yeah, I guess, I guess, yes, is the flat answer to that. But in terms of it would be brainless building your team then, because you could just pick anything. But I guess, you know, some skills are still better in some situations, right? Like, you're, you're going to be taking more dodge on your orc team. Like, if, if dodge and block were the same... Or dodge and might blow were just as good as each other, which yeah, you know, they approximately are. They're both very strong scores, right? Then you know you're still going to take might on your orcs and dodge on your elves, right? Generally. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if pair of hands doesn't work, <laughs> which is hilarious because even when it does work, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it, it, like there's more. There's there's like magic has to be have good and bad, right? Because it's all about the secondary market and stuff, and buying by people buying lots and lots of packs of cards to get good cards. Like they have to have that because oh, it's how okay, they make fair, money. Fair. Um, but yeah, Blood Bowl could be closer than it is. Um, there doesn't yeah. have to be trash skills. Like there doesn't have to be. There there has to be trash in 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 magic. There just literally has to be. Yeah, they, they they feel like noob traps is why I don't like it. The skills, you know, having having the terrible skills is like, you know, this doesn't serve much of a purpose except for some poor bastard who's never played the game saying, Oh, Cannoneer, let's go <laughs> and then taking <laughs> taking a shit skill. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean I I kind of have the same kind of uh, feeling about that. Um But then, you know, there is an element of skill testing and stuff and it does let you you know, it does Yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah, it's, it's it, but yeah, where do you draw the line and stuff, isn't it? But yeah, it's it is it's in it's super interesting. <laughs> I think the line should be drawn above pile driver. Yes, I I agree. I I like I don't think there's a need to make all of the all of the throwing skills crap yeah. except leader and on the ball. <laughs> yeah, and like most of the strength skills are bad, right? There, there's guard, mighty blow, and stand firm, and the rest are a lot worse, like significantly yeah, yeah. worse. Yeah. And for general skills, there's a few. There's a few that are situated. So the situational ones are fine to have, right? Like yes, sure yeah. hands, dirty player, exactly, kick, yeah. things like that. I think that if, if everything was around that kind of level, top quality. Yeah. But like, what does what agility do you have? Dodge sidestep, maybe diving tackle, and then yeah. nine bad ones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, spin situational. Oh, spin yeah, spin yeah. Feet, yeah. Fair enough. And Sneaky Git, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit, of course. That's oh, the my. new best, best skill. skill in the game. <laughs> yeah, the new, best, the new literal best skill in the game. Uh, wow. It's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting how good it is, but then still you don't want it on everybody, do you? Yeah, no, exactly. But that's good, right? Like, Because then there's still decisions to be made about how you build your team, but it's still a good skill. Yeah. And like you say, with the sure hands and that kind of thing. You know, very good skill, but you know, you, you're not going to take it very often <laughs> compared yeah. to a lot of skulls. Yeah, and I think the tackle. Oh, so that was a that was a turn eight score. No. Yes. Well, yeah. Why, why? Why is it still highlighted on eight? <laughs> because it won't, that won't go away until Gdanik starts his turn. Okay, I was bamboozled for a second. <laughs> yeah, so that that's the last turn that Dolce played was turn eight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. <laughs> so Nick has a one turn chance. Um, triple, triple. Oh, triple ah, well, uh, we, well, yeah, we, uh, we, we, yeah. So triple stand firm, but uh, we, Frenzy. we saw this, didn't we? A, a bit of a, a bit of an error by by Dolce. Yes, there is no juggernaut. So you can see the red skills. There is no juggernaut for Nick. But looking at the blue skills, there is a frenzy somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere there's a frenzy, and there is the Gadenic, uh, not the Gadenic, the Corfu uh, method of you can dodge through a gap here. Uh, he's he's pathing out on the screen as well, isn't he? You can frenzy, and then you can fill up these squares, 
and then you can have a sidestepper who then gets pushed out and stuff and chained forward and it's it's pretty it's pretty clever isn't it it's pretty advanced pretty pretty clever nice pretty, stuff yeah really really nice and like it biggest is a mistake brain. <laughs> yeah biggest brain it is a mistake to leave it on um you know but like it's understandable right because that's it's really high level one turn that i would say yep 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 fair 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 very nice spot. And you're obviously not spotted by Dolce, you know, whether he missed the frenzy or just missed the uh, the other uh, the, the, the the play itself, you know, un understandable. And I guess he's well it's interesting, I guess he's I wonder why he brought the players forward as, as riot defense maybe. Maybe he likes to control that sort of those tiles for the riot perhaps. Although then there is you can't get through the middle anyway from just with dodging through the middle, can't you? So don't know how a good a riot defense it would be. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you'd want to put the, like, normal, uh... Chevrons, yeah. Chevrons, yeah, versus a riot. So... Hmm. Super interesting. So, yeah, so he's going to dodge through this way and blitz this guy. Oh, yeah, there's, there's the frenzy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the, there isn't, um... There isn't, uh... You can't use your time bank on the setup, right? No, yeah, that's that's brutal. They need to fix that, I think, because holy shit, yeah, setting up for the one turns and stuff is. Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, Nick actually ran out of time that turn. Yeah, <laughs> that setup. Yeah. Yeah, because that is that is literally one of the times you would want to use your time back. <laughs> I, I like how in your chat, Dimmy just wrote, "He's gonna need to high roll with block," and in my chat, he wrote, "Banter, banter, banter." <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Glorious, Dimmy. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is really really cool. This isn't it? To be fair, it it is it is yeah very nice. Making oh, and of course the yeah, the 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 cool story is that the frenzy was a rando skull. Yes. Obviously, the the team's got locked in before the playoffs, so you might as well just you know get some rando skulls. Why not? You know extra 10k tv yeah it's probably worth it at, at 2.5 million so um so yeah rando rando defends he got himself a one turn got what well, got himself a win <laughs> but ah, god damn it i mean uh, the win you know in the sense of it's a nice one turn yes yes correct elliot thank you for the clarification <laughs> <laughs> very nice one turn use win for kadenic <laughs> i see this is an absolute win <laughs> gets the push can just take the power, can't he? Just needed the one push. Yeah, very nice. Because he's movement nine, sprint to your feet. There you go. It's, I mean, it's yeah, a could, lot of could, have, could have had another one, couldn't he, if he was movement, uh, movement eight or didn't have sprint. Yeah. Potentially. Yep, yeah, could have done. Could have touched those guys out, yeah. Touch them around, and around. Like obviously, it's not worth it. Yeah, oh, no, no. Yeah, but it and obviously it would make the dodges harder as well, wouldn't it? Um, Ye uh, yeah, yeah. It would have been a four, wouldn't it? Four, three, yeah. three, two. Yeah, but um, obviously, yeah. So it was, it was definitely correct to take the power there. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just just the back line for the was probably the way to go, wasn't it, sadly? Yeah, but yeah, to be fair, that was better against a riot, wasn't it? That was better against a riot, so I guess that's what he was thinking, as you say, yeah. But yeah. In future, it's not a mistake he'll make again, I guess. <laughs> he'll no. Have, <laughs> he, will have, he will have that, uh, you know, some kind of chevron or rule of five or whatever a bit further behind, a bit further back, and uh, not interfere with the stand firm. So yeah, great one to him. Mm, very nice. Large head, large brain. Oh, Elliot called the better. Oh, there was a better way to do it as well, and, and you called yeah. that in real time. And so yeah, slight, slight good. misplay, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll let him off. Yeah, yeah, we'll let him off because it was great. But I mean, you got you got to give people nice, shit yeah. when they're when they're, <laughs> when oh, they're streaming, got, haven't you? Yeah, especially like Gadanik. I mean, you can't. <laughs> yeah. You can't. <laughs>
<laughs> you get, well, we'll let some random person off, but not not good, ain't it? Yeah. Also, like literally, he's sat next to you, and you've told you've said the better way to do it, and he says, "I have the biggest brain." <laughs> it's like, <well>, second biggest. <laughs> Elliot's just told you the better way to do it. <laughs> After the fact, of course, there wasn't there wasn't cheating. No. Yes. No. No. Hashtag no collusion. <laughs> but yeah, it was still a, it was still a great one turn, obviously. Really. Yeah. Very really nice. Great play. So now, I guess we're going to dack her. Going to dack her for the win. Mm. Well, Oriolensis is saying it in, in your chat there. Cool, <laughs> 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 Oriolensis. And it's funny, isn't it? It just shows how, like, what a good strategy the Dakar is, right? That, like, you know, um, I, I believe, no spoilers here, but I believe you've played at least one game in the playoffs. And I, I think I recall you seeing you Dakar. Uh, I, I wish I could spoil that, but I can't actually remember. Okay. Uh, it was like a, a week and a half ago, who knows. Um, okay. Probably, yeah. I, I probably did, yeah. I think it's, I think it's strong, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's funny, isn't it? Because, you know, like, obviously one of the, one of the bone, like, one of the, and, and store dackered in tabletop, like, mm -hmm. and one of the... With one elf that was stunned. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> One of the advantages is the is the attrition that you mitigate, and obviously people are choosing to do it in in formats that it doesn't really matter as much. That you think the yeah, I, I think it's just better for winning, right? Like yeah. it's 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 good. I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I agree. I think it's good as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's just it's just one aspect of it, and like people are still yeah. using it when that one aspect isn't isn't a factor. Is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wide awake for Rocket League after. Yeah, it's been cool to see a bit of Rocket League. Do you know what? Do you know what's weird? I've seen people play Rocket League and not understood at all, <laughs> like what the hell was happening. But when I watch Rick play Rocket League, I can actually understand like how the ah. game's played. Isn't that weird? Who who who, well, who are the other people? Like really good people, you mean? Maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, not to be mean to Rick, but yeah, maybe. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm not saying. I mean, I mean, a lot better than like yeah, like. Professionals and shit like that. Yeah. People get paid for playing Rocket League, right? They earn like you know tens of thousands of dollars, and so it's pretty pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like at, at a high level, it, you're just like flying. It's more like Rocket Plane League, right? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're no longer a car here. <laughs> you're some kind of airborne missile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've actually enjoyed. Yeah, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed, oh, like nice, it nice. seems like there's actual, you know. Maybe strategy and tactics is is too far to say, but like there's you know there's some kind of gameplay behind it all, isn't there? Oh Decisions yeah, yeah. The, 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 there is some strategy and tactics, yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, not not on the level of, like Blood Bowl for sure. But then obviously you've got like the mechanical skills. Yeah. That replaces that. Oof. I was nearly mean there, but uh, I I managed to I managed to. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Savage. Well, all I'm saying is that there's a reason that me and Vic play Blood Bowl mostly, and <laughs> not Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best esports. Ah, well, I mean. Excuse me. How how dare you say that in a Tumblrwang uh, cast? Yeah, I mean. This is the best esport. <laughs> it's just it's one of those things, isn't it? The but the best esport is the one that you personally like. Yeah, right? it's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like the bloody what is it? Uh, hockey, right? Every every, every oh. person who likes hockey says. Hockey's the best spectator sport, and it's like, well, no. I, I tried to watch hockey once, and I couldn't see the puck, so I was just very confused. It's so tiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like you know, it, okay. Like I, I understand that people who like hockey really like it, but it's just kind of idiotic to say this is the best and stuff when it, it's entirely, uh, what's it called? Uh, Subjective. Subjective, yeah. Or you yeah. can just say it's the one that makes the most money, in which case it's soccer. <laughs> like, yeah, that's yeah. it. The, 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 you know, it's like movies, right? Ooh, what's the best movie? I mean, it's it's either the ones that you like the most or it's the Marvel ones because they make the most money. Or oh, Avatar movies, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> Avatar movies yeah. must be the best movies because they make the most money. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. This is the uh, this is where the tree rooted, right? That's what that's, that's yeah, what that's yeah, the, the blob on the pitch, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't give a puck. Very good, Timmy. Hilarious. Yeah. 
I mean, there's people that love golf, right? There's people that love watching golf and stuff, and and there's yeah, people that love watching we, hockey, and and the people who it, it, ice hockey does seem to be the most enthusiastically enjoyed spectator sport. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't, you don't really see people like who like football going. Oh, soccer's the best spectator sport, do you? Do you know what I mean? Well, they, like... they don't need to, like, because everybody else, everybody else likes watching football. <laughs> like, <laughs> the hockey people have to be enthusiastic about hockey because, like, it has five supporters worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Action filled the ASMR. Curling. Yeah, do you know what? I've seen a bit of I've seen a bit of bowls, and that's kind of the same as curling, isn't it? Almost the same. Oh yeah, curling. Yeah, I, I actually like curling. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm not probably not the kind of thing I'd watch regularly, but you know, when the Winter Olympics one, it's like, oh yeah, curling. Sure, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Oh yeah, beach volleyball. Yeah, that's depending on who's playing. Beach volleyball can be very fun. <laughs> <laughs> a a very about. good spectator sport. <laughs> So we've got Dolce kind of trying to pressure the Daka here a bit. I mean, obviously, a Daka from Nick uh, gets everyone back. Screen and then a cage behind the screen. Uh, stand firm on one wing, but not the other. Uh, feel like he should definitely have stand firm on both wings. I guess he's thinking maybe that Nick isn't going to want to go through yet, so he can, he can take a turn to move the Slayer out. I don't know. I'm not sure where the Slayer came from. Maybe it could have been out there this turn. Yeah, maybe. Like, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be there yet, but like, I, I like, and I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I kind of feel like I like having stand firm, or, uh, or oh, rather, agreed. don't like seeing stand firm on the side lines. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, if like Nick could go, just go through here. Right? I mean, through the middle, right? Like, he could blitz the guy behind the strip ball and and just two plus everybody through. But he, he probably wants a few more turns, doesn't he? Yeah. Before he goes. Yeah, it makes sense to. Uh... To delay as long as you can, unless like you have a great chance. Like if you have a great shot through, or yeah. if like if they're defending it well, it's going to take you. It's I, yeah. I think I said this in in the chat when it was here. Like because so <laughs> oh I, I need a video about blood ball terminology right because obviously everyone chortles when you mention penetration, um, but like. <laughs> like you, you do you, need you 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 first you 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 start the short link. <laughs> yeah, I mean I do I do. It's pretty funny, isn't it? But like you know you do need you do need penetration. Like you know you you do need to penetrate. <laughs> <laughs> you do need to penetrate their lines, right? Like you do. Right, and, right, yeah, sure, and sure. So what the DACA does is it it means that like when you do you've got all that space behind right to stall it out. Like that's the big yeah. thing. So, so by 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 bringing them down to here, you get so much space in behind them. Um, so, so like that, it's really good for scoring on turn eight, right? It's much yeah, better. the Dakar yeah. is really good for scoring on turn eight because it gives you that that freedom to to get through after the penetration. But if the penetration is going to be difficult, <laughs> then you have to start trying to break them down earlier, right? Yeah. Um, You're gonna need to spend a couple of turns like in contact, possibly. Exactly around the team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the yeah, we were just winning games. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We were just discussing that callbacks. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I, I would have done, and apparently I did another game that I'm, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> is this a movement three? I think this is a movement three tree, isn't it? Oh you yes, it is. It, yeah. But, yeah, very fast tree. Yeah. I was wondering how it had rooted down here, and I was wondering how it just went next to a square there, but yeah, it makes a lot more sense if it's, uh, if it's moving through. What would you call the phase of play before penetration? Uh, it depends. Usually probing. I would say probing is the best way. Like, you have to, you know, you have to, like, kind of faint left and right a bit, don't you? And uh, try to, like, probe for weakness in the, in the defences. And then if you get some, then you can open them up. But what about these turns here, when you're purely just dropping back? What's that called? Oh, well, I mean that's different, isn't it? That that's the DACA. I mean, oh, that but, is but is it? Or do, doesn't DACA refer to like the entire drive, like the drop back and the push forwards? Maybe because, because a turtle is the is dropping back, right? But that has no pushing forwards. True. So what's True. what's the actual dropping back called? Um, I guess this is just like 
dropping back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have the dropping back, the probing, and then the penetration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the pl playing hard to get, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, really, the, the, seeing as the ideal turn to go through is turn 12, we could call this the turn 4 play. <laughs> oh, way! <laughs> way. Um, bit of a stretch, but you know, I had to. Oh, God. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I had to go for it. And then, and then, uh, and then on defense, you've got like the defense is pretty good, and also doesn't sound as rude. You've got like pressure and cover, right? Like uh, to, that's like kind of NFL terms as well, right? Like you've got the ball sack, and you've got pressure, and mm. and then you've got cover. So like, it's really hard to have all of them at the same time. Yeah. And so, if you like, you know, he's, he's covering here, isn't he, with these. These yes, two this is, this is covering, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so like these are kind of L screens and that is cover. And then things like blitzing people based on the ball and stuff is pressure. Yeah. And so generally if like if you go if you go really hard on pressure, then it's gonna yeah. give it's gonna make it easier for your opponent to penetrate. Yeah. <laughs> but And it, and achieve better penetration. Exactly, yeah. So it's 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 pretty it's all pretty interesting, like how like all that works, but the bad thing is how it all sounds. <laughs> and it does make I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> it, it does make it somewhat difficult to discuss. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, you do get deeper penetration with a DACA. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Gary on! <laughs> oh, and, and yeah, look at that. That was left through a little 2+. plus. Mm. Yeah, quite nice having the uh, most of the elves on one side and then some hanging hanging threats on the other side to, you know, prevent your opponent from just like locking down the one the one sideline. Yeah, yeah, Very I really like getting way. through like this. If you, if you, yeah. if you can get something through like this, it, I think it's pretty nice. As as long as like they can't just hunt those guys and not give anything up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, so now he has now he has tucked in yeah. the uh, the troll slayer there for his stand firm. So I haven't heard of Dolce. I don't know who he is or, or who they are um, in terms of Blood Bowl Two. Not not a name I plays personally recognise. Plays a fair bit of fumble. Ah. This is—I mean, this is pretty cool, isn't it? Played pre played pretty solidly. Um, yep, yep, yep. Not easy versus Goody Nick, one of the best no. players of Blood Bowl three and tabletop and fumble probably. <laughs> mm. It's all the same, isn't it, Blood Bowl? To be fair. Yeah. Realistically, like yeah, there are the odd wrinkles in formats, but generally, once somebody's good. They're unlikely to not be good in a different format. <laughs> Though, of course, yeah. things like tabletop are going to be a little bit different, right? Like, there's an element of experience to. And the physical intimidation by your opponent. Exactly, yeah. Nick, very intimidating sitting down. Yes, maybe. Yeah, so this is, uh, I mean, this, and he's got he's got the catcher behind the line as well, hasn't he? So, I mean, that's amazing for Nick. Now he can just run that guy Yeah. directly back. Has somebody to link up with everything. He can just go fully deep or he can keep him around the halfway line. Can go either way. It's like it's pretty sick. 
strength four to blitz. Lovely. Mm. How did he know he was strength four? <laughs> I know, right? <It's laughs> oh man, that's going to be so annoying for the people playing, honestly. I I can't imagine how bad it is to play with not not like you know, because like if it, if there's nothing, then you make more of an effort to remember what people have got, haven't, yeah, haven't yeah, you? Yeah. Whereas the fact that this takes care of a lot of it for you, yeah, makes it worse that that you get that sprung on you. <laughs> it's like the activations, right? Like fumble, you have to activate everything, but in a way that's better because you have to do all the move activations. So if you want to do a pass, you, you're never going to forget. To, to do a pass activation because you have to do a move activation anyway. Whereas on on, on this you can you can just click to move your guy and oops I've got to pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a, like I don't think that's a good thing on fumble by the sure. way that, uh, that you have to do that. But the I it's not it's a bit of a clunky like you know not to not to rag on fumble, but like the the whole like where you move players is all like a little bit clunky anyway, isn't it? So like. Yeah, it's yeah. not so bad that you have to activate like a move action and stuff on fumble. Like it's, I I would think it would be unacceptable in like a in a paid product, honestly. But I think in terms of fumble, it's not so bad, um, and you do get used to. It. I mean, you'd get used to anything. I I just think, I think it's one of those things where it's. I think it's unacceptable for for like this. <laughs> honestly, I I really do. I, Maybe I've yeah, got to be my bonnet about it too much, but I, I just really think it's. It yeah, be I, like that. It's, it's something I care less about than you know <laughs> all the other problems, but yeah, it's, it still is. Yeah, you know, would be much better without it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I've, I rate it quite. Yeah, I don't yeah. mind it so much in fumble, but it is more because f the way fumble is more janky, if you know what I mean. Like just the way it works, the way it works on fumble. It, it doesn't feel as bad, given the rest of Fumble. I, it's hard to explain, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I agree. It it fits into Fumble a lot better here. It just feels terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like the controls on Fumble are consistent, at least, right? Like the the controls on this are such a mess. And like there's like like there's out the space bars and like key presses and like yeah. clicks and uh, so it's all just such a and the the, the circle the the wheel thing is it's all just such a mess. Yeah. And it's like, but also this is like three D, isn't it? You know, and that that makes a difference, and 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 like with how you want to control it and stuff, and then being like yeah, little yeah. on the squares, top down, two D, like it, it it does all make a bit of a difference. But um, and yeah, maybe I am, maybe I am. Obviously, well, I mean, I'm not because it's I'm me. But <laughs> and it's not that I'm saying that it's terrible for everybody. But for me personally, I think it I think it's a really big deal. Honestly, the the declaring, yeah, fair, fair. the declaring actions. Bit of a weak spot here, just the one, yeah. the one player it takes yeah. advantage. Yeah, I, I, this was a bit much, wasn't it? Sending this guy, uh, sending this guy over here to chase him. Like, what is he even doing? He, he, he was better off just keeping the line and keeping a guy behind, or moving this guy off. Like, there's no need to have somebody behind yes. the tree. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a strength six block guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was a mistake. Like he could have, he could have definitely kept the two, two deep things. Well, yes, Gary. And like obviously, I mean that's that's what we said, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's my contention. Is you know, I, I don't, don't get me wrong. I I I think it is a problem. It would be much better if it was different. But <laughs> there are so many other problems. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, no fair play. You know, probably rate it slightly higher than I do as a, as a problem amongst yeah. the vast sea of problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like it was just it was just inexplicable to me. Like, you know, obviously if I yeah, yeah. if I'd learned that they intended disconnections to never ever be recoverable, I yeah, would have, yeah. I would have responded appropriately. <laughs> yeah, that, that's another thing, right? That they in theory they will fix the the, the um, disconnection thing, whereas they're never gonna fix the yeah, they don't intend to fix the change to change the um, the de declaration thing, do they? Exactly, yeah. So here it looks like the only play is is this dwarf dodge blitz eh? as terrible as it is, um, because I think Nick's gone next turn. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, I got like a, a nice bit of a, like a, a counter screen in as well to make it difficult for the ODWR to get back in front, so. Yeah. All these guys are tagged off. So he's got one, two, three, four. This guy's abandoned. So he's got four, five players that are basically free to do anything. So um, I did say at the time, I think this is the only player, is this, is this you know, yeah. four plus dodge? And because it's over, like, and, and, and yes, it's not over if he doesn't do it, but do you know what I mean? It's almost over. This oh, yeah, yeah. The, the game it, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be you know, <laughs> completely over like, for it to be a good idea. Yeah. I mean, it's not even like that's what is it five four 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 plus five plus like it's not you know two two re rolls as well right so yeah almost forty percent probably yeah. well yeah. almost forty percent to get the knock down obviously there's still a long way to go <laughs> after that uh, to to salvage the situation I guess but yes yeah I mean it's 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 a he's in a bad spot yeah. whatever happens but I feel Got like it. that was. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So don't say it's over, but he's totally fucking should have made a four plus for a one D. There you go. Um, like he is pretty much completely fucked at this point. And, well, and the fact that he hasn't gone for it, I think, means he's lost. He's he's got his halfling though, Jimmy. He does have his halfling. Yeah, you'll yeah. have it. You'll have the you'll have the one turn attempt. Um, and he's and he's tree man. Mm, oh, Kaz is the best player. Yeah. He's dead now. He's gone for the rest of the tournament. Well, for next game anyway. Well, it's except for threats. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just in case there's people that don't know, <laughs> that was an hilarious Elliot joke. <laughs> Well, what was it? A hilarious joke, or am I just extremely dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Who could possibly say? <laughs> I mean, Elliot is a real-life scientist, <laughs> but he did forget Elliot. He did forget that Acorn has no hands. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I'm not. I'm not the most recent coach to forget a player with no hands <laughs> had no hands. You can't use it anymore. It's you know, it's all the Hancock Wraith pickup now. <laughs> anyone? Yeah, anyone could do that. <laughs> yep, Hancock the Wraith. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hancock, for saving me. <laughs> I appreciate that. I know that you realised the Wraith had hands. You just wanted to, you know, put to bed the whole Elliot school thing. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's I think that's my literal favourite favourite that's my favourite line by Hellboy is Elliot is a real life scientist who forgot the icon has not happened. It's, it's pretty good. My, mine is actually the, I can't remember what song it was, but he goes blah, 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 fantasy, and then football game. You know, that that part. Where, oh, yeah. <laughs> that, I used to just find that hilarious for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kaz won it. Kaz's wife has got it going. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, to Joy, yeah. I mean, it's perfectly reasonable to imagine that a squirrel, um, yes. you know, about a six-inch high squirrel, has hands yes. that can manipulate a football. They can lift 20 times their own body weight. <laughs> They're like super ants. You go. <laughs> oh, dear. So, you know, yeah, here we go. Thumbs. One in 36. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got back a little bit, hasn't he? Um, forced, was forced a dice roll or two, but yeah, yeah, it was a decent, it was a decent effort, but it was just never really going to be good enough. Like that was the problem. Like it was such a bad spot that he was in that it was just wasn't going to be good enough. I thought, and, uh, and I mean, he needed the power there, didn't he, Nick? To be fair, if he hadn't got the power, we would have had to go through this. Everyone about yeah. two plus through here. Yeah, it does have wrestler as well, so. Oh, he has that. Got the got, got the seventy five percent, which is pretty nice. Pretty with good. with re roll probably as well, right? You probably uh, probably do the re roll on the pushers. Definitely, yeah. yeah. That, that's one of the things about the ball three, yeah. isn't it? Like it yep. doesn't doesn't burn your re roll for the turn. So even if you've got other no. critical things, it's absolutely no problem to use the re roll early. No, I just made up a I just made up a fact. Facts don't matter anymore. Remember, it's you know you just. Talk utter bullshit, and you know that's you know, all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Also, yes, exactly, Hellboy. That's it. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Yeah, m yeah. Since McNaughton left your wife. Yeah, I love that line. Since McNaughton left, because I also knew, I also knew that it was going to be the line. <laughs> I, thought, 
<laughs> I thought, I bet that's the line, and it was, and I was so happy to hear it. <laughs> yeah, a tree on the sideline could have been interesting, yeah, actually. <laughs> mm. It's, I mean, it kind of takes the tree out of the drive, but it, it does like close down a bit of space that you have to defend, which is quite nice. Yeah, that is interesting, isn't it? Yeah, rather than the centre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then you could have had like a an oblique defence. Oh wow, good word. Thanks. <laughs> That's what that was. What they said, wasn't it? In uh, in Warhammer, I remember. I remember the oblique oblique uh, battle lines for things. Oh. Mm. Nice. And hello, Dr. Hellboy. Glorious. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that would have been an interesting strat for sure. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that either. Just, like, stick their big guy on a the side. They've, they've generally put it in the middle, haven't they? I, I put my big guy on the sideline for an offensive, you know, DACA once as opposed to defending against a DACA. Mm. And someone in chat commented on it and I banned them for a year. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I got, I got banned from two chats recently, you know. Oh, really? Mm. Wait, which, which, which chats? Um, Dimmy redeemed Banner Colour on Billy's oh. chat and oh, banned nice. Red, so I knew I was Red, so I, I deliberately just said Dimmy <laughs> so that I'd be banned. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Bad, bad colour, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. And the other one was, I, I joined Artemis's stream and uh, just spammed my RNG. <laughs> oh, the, uh, yeah, the, the, the flat earth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't even talking, but I just read his chat and I was like, oh my god, his chat deserves this. <laughs> And then and then he, he timed me out for a bit, so they're pretty fun. Pretty fun yeah, two timeouts nice, recently. Nice, nice, nice. Bad boy Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh look at this. We're on full yak cam. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that part. <laughs> It happens, doesn't it? It happens that you just get random camera moves. Oh, yeah, I guess that was it, yeah. Mm. And then you went the long way round rather than the, the short way round, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, this is good. Like, this is good play, to be fair, from Dolphy. Yep. He, is, he is trying. Like, he is battling to uh, do, you know, everything he can. Yeah, like, you know, it's a snake from the elves. Like, in a in a in quite a few dice rolls, you know, and it could be a... Turn over or an early score or something. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely been the odd chance. Hmm. Like a, co a couple of you know, a few a few dodges to make here to to make things safe. Yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest thing was reinforcing the tree um, unnecessarily, um, and or like he could have just completely ignore that catcher. If he'd done either of those and kept like the kept the columns. It would have been interesting to see if uh but then you know obviously that would have just given Nick a you know arguably a free turn of stalling, right? So like it's it's tricky, isn't it? Yeah. And he, he can always just one D the tree. Or he can even do a three plus dodge then two D the tree, right, with his with his Vessel man so <laughs> he can, I yeah. guess I guess the the advantage of leaving the dwarf alone was that it was far away from most of the elves, but it just still wasn't quite good enough. Mm. But it, it's hard. Like ultimately it's hard. Like how do you defend against Levin elves, right? It's very it's a bit difficult to not let you know, not let them have something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even it's if you end up just leaving them like three three two to get through, they're probably gonna make that with a few elves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and especially with multiple rerolls, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah, it even, yeah. Even better for them. Yeah, oh multiple rerolls, great for the DACA, right? Mm. Yeah, that was I mean that was two one in thirty sixes, he fails either of those, he's in yeah, trouble, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It still isn't that great. Mmm, yeah. You can't give... He he well, they're not humans, but you can't give Old World Lions a two-turn, probably. So. No. I guess 
a little bit surprised he didn't blitz with that lino because the lino feels like it's in a bit of a nowhere spot now. It's not like guarding the sideline. Yeah. Yeah, I expected the blitz honestly because mm. yeah, the push like on a power obviously it's but it's still not it, yeah, even if you power with the blitz there, it, you still yeah, he's still not marking the sideline, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably had to be a a blockless blitz was probably mm. correct. I guess the good thing is he doesn't have to think about like I have to I have to stall up here anymore. He can yeah, he can think about switch coming over. over here because yeah, that yeah. guy's not really doing anything. Yeah, I guess he's actually got that, hasn't he? Yeah. Got that option pretty open, although doesn't go for it. Mm. I'm not sure he's just He's pathed it. I eagerly await his decision. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what happened. <laughs> Might just score. I surely can't give them two turns. No. Like even if you just hang your blood step out and tag the catcher, that's probably uh, tag the ca tag the tackle. That's probably better than you know. Just take take the hit on your blood step is probably better than uh, giving them the two turns. Mm -hmm. It's not nice, but oh, it does go into the corner then. And now some dice rolling required then to get this, uh, you know, really safe. Yeah, we've I got it's this quite weak a lot. diagonal though, haven't we? Ah, yeah, true, too, yeah. And then you can go to here, which... So, but three two pluses, or he could just tag, no, he's got to... Yeah, and he is just two two pluses, yeah, he can stay yeah. there, and that does something. Hey, Dolce, yeah, good afternoon, yeah. Yeah, he, he, easy done, isn't it? And a, ni and a nice spot from Nick, as we, you know, we, we, were, we were mentioning it. Yeah, our old Dolce and, yeah. Yeah, it was, that was, you know, it's fair enough, right, to want to defend against the right a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, obviously that, I mean, it's, it was a great, great one turn, isn't it, to be fair. Very nice. Really nice. <laughs> Elliot and uh, Nick are just having a nice discussion now. <laughs> there, was no, there was no thinking about gameplay. It was just, <laughs> I'll just use about three minutes of my time bank to just have a <laughs> chat. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry for the time you have, dog. Nick obviously just burning through his rerolls now, um, because it's probably going to be over. But there is there is the one turn chance. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe like maybe like fifteen percent or something. It's it's about ten percent on Blood Bowl two. I seem to remember. Obviously, it depends yeah you know, exactly on the team and stuff. But with the multiple rerolls, he's got what four. So yeah, probably you know improves it a fair amount. Yeah. What's the play here? It's just the 1D with a tackle, man. Uh, like, it's a 5 plus, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 5 plus 3 plus 1D, I guess. It's pretty rough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so good, just five plus. Yeah, yeah by moving five him, plus. just a five. The thing plus. is, he's retrieval, though, right? I was thinking. Because mm. either you sidestep onto the sideline or in, in, in pitch. And if you go in pitch, then he could have been the retrieval. Mm. Goes to the four pluses, which is may, maybe correct if you're happy to use as many reels as possible, which you probably should be right. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That changes things now, doesn't it? Yeah, going yeah. four, four, three. 
Oh, and the blitzers, the blitzers, uh, two plus edge Dolce points out. So actually, oh. it was just a th that was just a three three two to get through. Actually, not not oh, at all. Wow. Pretty unlucky. Yeah, sorry, we can't see. We can't see no. the stats, can we? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, three three two probably is better than four when you factor in you're willing to use four rerolls to to do it, right? Yeah. It's like ninety percent, ninety percent. It's eighty-one percent, and then ninety-seven. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 like high seventies versus seventy-five. Mm. Yeah, pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. That is the thing. It's the same coloured skills blending too easily. Yeah, that yeah, that is yeah, the yeah. thing. Like it all blends. So like you know, even if you do like you know, even if you can tell Stan Firm and Juggernaut, which is obviously terrible that like they're hard, but eventually you, you like you do get used to everything, right? And you will be able to spot them at a glance. But it's still like just horrible. Like it's yeah. still always going to cause eye yeah. strain and that because they're all so similar. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've got a bit of a bit of a. One turn defense. Is he still got enough players? No, he's down, isn't he? He's down to uh, down to ten. Oh yeah! Wow, that big bench has been uh, been chewed through. Mm. He had to have fifteen because because Elliot had more TV, so he had to make sure he could get someone against Elliot. <laughs> um, I th I think uh, more than three hundred and eighty more TV. In fact, so yeah, I think he, I think you could get more against me, perhaps. <laughs> So I think Nick's only like twenty one fifty or something, and I, or yeah, two thousand one hundred fifty, and I'm like two thousand five hundred something. So. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Thank you for the uh, research boy analysis. Mm. <laughs> oh, so there you go. So Squirrel Dude's done the math there. Three, three, two with three rerolls is seventy six point eight two versus seventy five percent. This is for a four plus and one reroll. So it's interesting, isn't it? And it probably isn't worth it doing it then, is it? Probably. Isn't yeah, I, I guess not. If the difference is close enough, because you, you still have the one turn, right? Like, if you didn't have the one turn, then I guess, I guess you'd do it. But hmm. although there's still more dice rolling the turn, right? So you might need those rerolls for something later in the turn. Yeah, I think for a treble or something. Yeah, maybe if it was like eighty percent versus seventy-five, it might have been worth it. And yeah, you'd be really unlucky to have to use all three, wouldn't you? Whereas there's a good chance you use one. So that's also an interesting way of looking at it, isn't it? There's... Oh yeah, that's true, yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's like a 50% chance you use the reroll. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what the percentage chance there is of you using a reroll and all the others. So that, that's yeah. interesting as well, yeah. You could, you could math that out, the chance of... Yeah, wow. ...rerolls being used. Wow. All, all these intricacies, and then you just bang men's out, and you know it doesn't keep bad what you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it's... <laughs> you can you can fiddle over your percentages, <laughs> or, or you can just smash through the T to pieces. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, obviously you can do both. Right? you could you could smash, you can get lucky, and you can play well. So yeah. But... Yep. It is interesting. It is interesting. Yeah, super it's interesting. Just, it's just somewhat overshadowed by the <laughs> the RNG. <laughs> yes, yeah, the, the RNG factor is massive, isn't it? And like these, like re razor thin equity decisions are yeah. much less likely to matter than like yeah. you know if you've had a good night's sleep or not. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. Well, here we go. Has the halfling had a good night's sleep? Mm. Looks like we're trying to score with a, with a sneaky git one rather than the uh, rookie. Oh yeah, I didn't even know. Oh, two halflings. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. The rookie up here. Well, he can he can try and maybe level it to dirty player. Mmm. Well, except it's rare. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. And so it could matter for like the overtime, right? If you still have the sneaky get one to foul with, so. Yeah, yeah. You'd expect to go with it to normal, I guess. But then, like, he he might have had to go with the the normal thing anyway, right? If the ball was deeper, so. Mm. Oh, and actually, it doesn't matter because if he doesn't score, he's lost. So it doesn't matter if he dies, does it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. The only way it continues is if he doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. 
Ah, yes, he was also he so he set up for the yeah the the joint toss um one the yeah move eight one turn yeah oh sorry move nine one turn even yeah. No. Yeah, move nine. That's nice, pretty nice. sick, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty sick. I've been having yeah. both. Move nine sidestep against sidestep is pretty impressive. Yeah. So we, he got unlucky, but you know, if he get made those powers we'd have been saying, what a nice one turn from, from Dolce. Mm. struggling to understand this 2D, to be honest. Like, I guess yeah. it doesn't really matter much. Can just... Could but, like, anywhere, I guess. could have just been an instant 3D, couldn't it? Probably, yeah. too. It would have been better. Probably could have been an instant 3D, but... Oh, so he uh... goes for the screen. Yeah, that's okay. cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yep, that does make sense. Thank you. Uh -huh, See, uh -huh. it's good. It's good having people in chat, isn't it? That know yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's hard. It's hard to like try and work it out when you don't know <laughs> what people are thinking. Yeah, that makes sense. Oof. The the sure hands animation is super annoying. It just looks like they <laughs> yeah. fall every time, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I would thought uh, this was good. 3.30 might not be enough time to figure out how to throw the team in. Wait. <laughs> it was so difficult. <laughs> My throw teammate touchdown is like a seven minute video on YouTube. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh, he's Next landed in a tackle zone. Unbelievable. Where's the landing roll, though? <laughs> Um. <laughs> we get a throw teammate roll, and then no landing roll. <laughs> Just all that is. Maybe it wasn't mid. Oh. Oh, hey. oh, there he goes. Look at him go. Amazing. Amazing. So yeah, down to one reroll each for overtime. Incredible. No. Very few rerolls then. Yeah. Wait a yeah. wait a minute. What? 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 Why do we have ten rerolls again? Oh, nine rerolls again. <laughs> <laughs> Where did all those rerolls come from? <laughs> I mean, at least both of them burnt through all their rerolls, right? Like, at least it was... It, yeah, true, true, yeah. Because it would have been... It would have really sucked if one of them had just, like, you know, if they were both on four and then the, one of them went down to one and then... <laughs> they were like, oh. At least they both went down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, and, and then, you know, other people have had... Um, over time and not reset the rerolls. So... Yep, yep, yep. It's it's just fucked. I to, to be fair, I wonder would it be better if rerolls did reset for overtime? Do you think? I don't know. I, do you know what? Without Kequity, I think mm. I, I like that Kequity mattered. Um, me too. Me too. If and if it did, I don't think it would. Yeah. But given that it doesn't matter, I I think I'd be okay if they did reset the rerolls for overtime. Yeah. It makes sense thematically that they don't, right? Because, you know, like a real football match, everyone's knackered by the time they play the extra fair. half hour. And, yeah, fair, And they fair. all play a bit crap, so like... Yeah, that's true, that's true. Overtimes are shit, so <laughs> they shouldn't be set the to be yeah. Yeah. So, like, it kind of... It's, but, you know, it just... I don't know. I really don't know, actually. It's, it's not a good thing to say, is it, in terms of being a... <laughs> a big brain, the biggest brain person. Um, <laughs> just saying that because it's an example. I, I really don't know. I really don't know what would. I've... Well, the the thing is, they can't though anymore. Like out to joy. Well, I mean, they can, but uh, that doesn't win them the game. Right? It's not not a golden goal anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Big change, right? Big change mm, that yeah. match teams don't just score in two. Yeah. They have to stall out the half. Well, maybe maybe if you're down to like two elves, <laughs> you score in two anyway because yeah. you, you don't have anything else to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's not the same. You don't want point. to score in two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The point is, it's not the same anymore. Yeah, it is a full half. Um, maybe they didn't know there was OT in Blood Bowl when they started working. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not meant to reset. No, it's not meant to always reset, Dolce, but... I 
fielding the tree was a mistake? I don't know. I guess trees aren't very good against elves, but... It's alright, isn't it? <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, what do you feel instead of halfling? <laughs> <laughs> Halflings aren't very good against elves. <laughs> yeah, right, like, that's the problem. It occupies the, 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 the center square quite well, doesn't it? Like, it, or, yeah. or the side, it does. Yeah. He does a thing, he strength six, he stand firm, like, that's, that's... That's a valuable positional thing, even if it does root itself. Yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. It's at least denying an area, isn't it? Yeah, could could, could stick it on the sideline as well, right? and to deny part of the pitch is kind of cool. I mean, not not really deny, but at least make it a bit more difficult if you only go that way. Yeah, that is an interesting thought. It is not sudden death, no. It is a full no. full extra eight turns or sixteen turns if you want to be technically correct. Eight turns each. So we could have this, Nick could stall for another eight turns and then get one turned on again. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. It's been a pretty cool game so far. Two, two pretty nice eight turn drives, two, uh, two one turns. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been pretty cool. If it's still tied at the end, it is just a straight roll off. Um, the tabletop, under the tabletop instructions, you have to roll off five times. Dumbest like... imaginable rule. <laughs> <laughs> like a real life penalty shootout, the drama of each kick who will win. <laughs> um, but like mechanically, it's basically just you know kind toss, of, whatever. Completely random. I mean, <laughs> the blitz was bad. Standing on the ball maybe wins you the game, right? If Nick's on. Yeah. So while. While it's very likely to do nothing, <laughs> it can win you the game. The thing is, you're, you're in a bad spot right from the get-go, right? So you kind of got to go for the outs, I feel like. You've got to go for the the six pushes from the Rackler kind of play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen six pushes before. But there was that game. It was Cyber Knight and somebody else. I can't remember who, but there was a wizard and they like... I can't remember what order it happened in, but they had like six dice on the on the ball, on like a defenseless ball, all pushes, and then a one on the bolt or something, oh, and they God. just walked it in. It was amazing. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, yeah, not hexa skulls, skulls and pushes. Like that's that's what that's fifty percent, isn't it? So yeah, well, so, yeah. so one in eight, and then another one in eight, so one in sixty-four. It was a strip baller. Oh shit! <laughs> oh. oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. He Hexa skulls. That it is. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Fair. Oh well. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, no. You you might get pushed and then sidestep and then the ball bounces back into your hands. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. No. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't do a lot. Okay. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's true. <laughs> To be fair, it doesn't do a lot. <laughs> but it's not as bad as Hexus calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was, there was, I, I think it, I, I think it's okay going for that. Honestly, like it gives it gives you a win condition at the end of the day, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess it's a, a, an interesting point though, right? Like, it, it doesn't do much, does it? To be fair, no. it's a weird one. <laughs> yeah, it is a weird one. And then you get fat. Well, oh no, the secret is dead. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, getting fouled by a sneaky gate would make it a lot worse. Mm. Oh yeah, we're talking about whether they can use the rerolls, but like, the only ruling has to be that you can use the rerolls here, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you can't just say, oh no, you've got to use one, you use one like that. Yeah. You couldn't just say anything like Just two. Complicated and messy. Yeah. Mm, interesting.
interesting. I don't know, I guess also it's weird now because catchers are soft again, aren't they? They used to be armor eight in Blood Bowl. Oh, two, of course, yeah. Seven, so they're a, they're a great target again now. Yeah. Are we just going to stay on the halfway line? Looks like it. Yeah, don't have to like maintain it across the field here this turn, but I don't know. Elves are fast and mm. fast and dodgy, aren't they? I, I do like to try to maintain full coverage just because they can they can switch pretty quickly. Nick's on 24 seconds of time. Yeah. Here, so. <laughs> I wonder why he's uh, got such little tie back ready. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're worthy on discussion. <laughs> Surely his focus was 100% on this uh, game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> uh, still a 2 4 eight. It's pretty cool having these time bank things with like the overtime. Yeah, it? it's pretty yeah cool. I like it, yeah. Mm. Just fully, fully withdrawing. Very quickly here, isn't it? I don't. I tend to not like going, you know, too deep like this. Mm, yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen Nick go this deep a lot. Yeah. I've probably done it a lot as well. Maybe it's because I always try to do the vanity passes, and I will need a bit oh. of space in case they true, fail. True, yeah. yeah, he could be doing some vanity passes. He couldn't need to be fair. He could if it wasn't res. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the tree's rooted. And is now in a not central position. No, yeah. No, on, on one of the, the, the less important columns. Yeah. Oof. Classic idiot tree man <laughs> rooting in the worst possible position. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's rough, isn't it? Yeah. So I guess that was that was the mistake last turn. Was if what if he roots? Yeah, maybe. Next yeah. Turn, yeah. Are you kind of saved by the fact that you've got like one more player than is needed to make a you know two a two you know an elf skin all the way across? But it's it's nice having that spare player now and the, the tree man being kind of in the wrong spot cripples that a bit. Yeah. I love that they're just passing turns back and forth. Oh yeah, I, I genuinely, this is amazing. Like when, whenever this part of the game happens, it's like, oh man, we just played four turns of Blood Bowl in 10 seconds. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh dear. Pogla throwing shade on Dolce that. <laughs> yeah, right, Split me. I mean, he doesn't have to hurry him up or turn him over at the end of the day. Getting out of this at two two is fine, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. You you would take that coin flip all day long. Opposing elf screens. 
this is the equivalent of the the two lines of dwarfs when they when they just locked in each other. This is the elf version, isn't it? How many Twitch chats <laughs> could we put on Jimmy's stream? <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe someone should restream the restream. <laughs> yeah, art art can restream the restreams. <laughs> that is child. <laughs> oh dear. Nah, it's already just like rough now, isn't it? Putting anything in. Yeah. It's an interesting one. Like, do you even, like, do you even do a blitz that turn? Like, because it's, it's a bit skew whiff now. I guess it's, no, this is actually fine, isn't it, to be fair? This is kind of fine. Yeah. He's still got the double screen in. Yeah, it's just that the tree's, like, irrelevant. Yeah. The tree, tree people <laughs> in the head. So I think we pile, we pile in on this guy, yeah. It's the tackle here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, you'd like to pile in on the Slayer body. It's not nice being blodge, is it? No. It's blodge firm. So I usually like to hit the hit the sidelines, but yeah, it's not not a nice player to be attacking. I quite I quite like going here because it lets you like go up here and up here and stuff as well, right? Like it gets you a bigger kind of zone, right? Whereas if you go for this guy, you've only got like this little place, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, you, you you get locked down more easily on the sideline. Yeah. The, the reason I like it is that it cuts off, it takes out more of their players from the opposite side, right? Like you're further yeah. away from the far players. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. The best was when Dimmy was saying the same thing. <laughs> 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 Isn't it going to try and dodge through here? I've seen him dodge through before. Yeah, yeah. He looks like he's considering it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I just saw the same mouse movement that you did. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, is he going to? Is he going to thinking about this? And not being able to move the tree is sort of horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's just, it's just not... Like, if you try to hold with less over here, he might turn you around, right? So like, Yeah, this, this is the impossible situation, right? Like, the, el the elves can, can sick or twist, and uh, <laughs> it's very difficult to, to deal with that. Just withdraw the elf screen, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. But now the tree's getting left behind a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's okay, right? It's, he's still keeping the outside of the stand firm, but then this is moving this over to have an extra player relevant. It's pretty good, as long as it uh, works. <laughs> yeah, that one I was very suspicious of on, on the on the day, remember, yeah. Mm. Suddenly I'm sort of a bit of a space. Oh, <laughs> reconsider that. So Nick's only got three turns now, leaving this a little bit late. But yeah, I mean, that, that space has been opened up, as you say. And the deck are pretty good. Oh, that was a Diced. Oh, look at that. Looking for the Jimmy and Kale on replay cast of this <laughs> game. Well, <laughs> it's the 
Jimmy and Elliot replay cast. Glorious. I was for 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 a very small amount of time there. I was considered an extremely ill-advised Kalon impression. <laughs> like it's better for all concerned that I did go for that. Yeah, especially given your avatar on the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, Nick's a look at dog, isn't it? Ah, oh, disgusting! Outrageous! So yeah, it's pretty sick that he's t he's turned the corner on the other side. Yes. And he can pile in a bit over here. Yeah. yeah. The double threat. Mm. Huge! It says pew pew patriot. <laughs> And now it's looking like the tree wouldn't make much difference if he was in the middle, does it? Yeah, I guess he could have had like that tackle guy not there. Have him. I mean, no, sorry, that, that that dirty player guy not there. Yeah. <laughs> have him, but somewhere else. But then maybe it was the tree that led to this whole move the stand firm around and everything yeah. as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think, like a a perfectly played Daka versus a perfectly played non Daka is, is would be a cool thing to see, especially because the, there's less removals on both sides, right? It's kind of a bit like, you know, it's it's a bit it's a bit a bit more, but you know, a bit less focused on the, the well, the dice rolling maybe, maybe not, maybe not. That's probably bollocks. <laughs> but it would be it would be it would be interesting, I think, to see like a, a, a yeah. I think I think Dolce is gonna done a good job. But, but yeah, without the tree where he is and you know, a couple of other bits would be cool to see him. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because it, it's a bit like, you know, like how like Chunter's, if you like, the Chunter style of defense with the rats and, and well, other mm, teams yeah. that he usually plays them all the same. Like, yeah. And, and Inarian does that a little bit sometimes. Um, you know, like intelligently putting players into positions where like you have to play your perfect turn or you're yeah. going to be in the shit. And the the deck is kind of similar, but in on the offensive side, isn't yeah, it? Is the, yeah, is the, yeah. You know, if if your opponent just makes one, like it's putting them under intense pressure, and yeah. you're not even doing anything, you're just standing in a row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if they miss position, then then that's it. It's over, isn't it? Yeah. In a, in a way, there's a lot of onus on the defense, right? To to kind of to, to be correct, <laughs> like you say. It's going to be late for UK TC. What a troll. Oh dear. My nine. Dolce gets use out of his extra. out of his extra reroll there. Oh, he no, he proed it, he proed it. Oh, he proed it. Yeah. Oh, well, he had got use out of it anyway. He's down to three now. So he has he has used his... He would have used his set amount. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly, yeah. But that was He's on pro. zero rerolls. <laughs> mm. But, you know, not, not, not to... Not no, that matters no. or anything. You know, you've no, got no, to play no, no, what's no. in front of you. So, yeah, this is huge now. Nick's got at least one player... Behind enemy lines. Yeah, yeah. The defense has broken down a bit. It, yeah, and and this move massive, here, yeah. like I, it wasn't, you know, it was in a mess already, but kind of left the left. I was like, yeah, <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick zooms in on the the dodge through square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks, this. Nick. <laughs> Look what I can do here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh... Yeah, it's all it's all kinds of horrible now. Wonder if just never activating the tree would have been better here. Eh? The tree would have been in a really nice spot up here. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, some people like in general to sit on the halfway line, right, as as the defense. Like other people like to sort of advance down the pitch a bit. Yeah. That's an interesting one. It really is. It's so cool that like so few people have played it. Like, yeah, yeah. Even Dakar enthusiasts. You know, like Nick haven't played that many games with a DACA. No. So so people have got hardly any experience of playing against it, for sure. And, and especially against the best defences, right? Like, because mm. DACA against a, a, a bad defence, which you're doing most of the time, 
you know, when you because most of the games you're playing you're against, you know, sort of, you know, not play, players who've not played in a million games of Blood Bowl, like players who aren't as good as as, as Gdanik. It is gonna be different to Dakarin against someone who, you know, you know, absolutely puts on a you know the best possible DACA defense, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, yeah. Like obviously, yeah, we we play a lot of well, not a lot, but a decent amount of offences against people with good normal like conventional defences, don't we? Conventional offences versus conventional yeah. defences. We don't even play that many. <laughs> right when you think about it like because how many you know like of bbsl there, were, there was a good bunch of good quality games wasn't there blitz pits mm -hmm. there's a good bunch of quality games like higher ends of tabletops chalices but like it just conventional defenses and offenses don't get you don't get to play no. against no yeah no yeah good defenses that often for sure Two times I've tried Dakar, I snaked and lost. Yeah, but I mean, how many times have you snaked and lost when doing a conventional offense? Oh, you ran out of time there, his time bank's gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but I mean, that was a big breakaway, wasn't it? Yeah. Got all the GFIs in with a catcher. I mean, that was a scary one, right? Like, yeah, one, one of those, he had maybe like four, four, four snake opportunities with the ball carrier. Yeah. Could have, uh, you know. It's such a weird one, Blood Bowl, right? Always, like, very unlikely chances to just get absolutely fucked. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, so, it's so messed up. I mean, you see... Sorry, you, you say that, Dolce, but the thing is, like, if he'd been played, like, look at the, you know, look at a normal offense, right? And, and how many yeah. are you doing a normal offense as well? So it's... It's interesting. It's really hard to quantify... Things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like you can, you could break down a one turn and you know have a have a decent idea of about how much chance there is to score. But trying to break down an eight turn, what? Well, no, not a chance. Right? You need you need the you need the zoom go unit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a hundred percent. Like it's like it, it's easier to like. I guess it's easier to be critical of a DACA because. If you fail that one in thirty six, you know you're closer to your end zone, so maybe there's more chance of losing, and things yeah. like that. And it it more obviously goes wrong when it goes wrong because it's a bit different as well. Yeah, like... you look like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. A Why would bit. you do the DACA, idiot? <laughs> now you've lost, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Could have just two turn because they always yeah, work. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh... So yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. Super interesting. Yeah, going with the foul on the side step and nice. Try and make the one turn a, a bit more possibly. Yeah, especially as there's the two pronged one turn. That can't yes. be underestimated, yes. can it? That's really Oh no, no, yeah. Really is good that that Nick has to try and defend both to an extent. Done. Oh, succeeds the argue the call with a <clears throat> with a buy strap. Oh yeah, no idea on the uh, on the inducements here. By the way, <laughs> well, there's a buy strap. <laughs> there's a buy strap. Yeah, was there a wizard? Maybe not. <laughs> uh, no, no. I guess they must have been pretty close. I guess it was just the buy strap then. Yeah, they must have been pretty close. Must have been pretty close. Yeah. Ref and bribe, mm. bribe. Okay. Cheers. I mean, I think it's probably just correct for first half to be Foul City without a bribe, right? <laughs> there's, uh, there's a lot to be said. For that anyway. So we're up to the 11 players now. Yeah. Yeah. And improve the defence slightly. Mm. Should have uh, should have looked at the Jimmy Fantastic setup guy. One turn <laughs> setup guy. <laughs> I think. Like, what, what what does the Jimmy Fantastic one turn setup guy say? Um, these guys like two back, right? So, oh, okay. Uh, Fair. And I think that might that might have made the uh, halfling not not land correctly, but he had less players for that one. So. Ah. 
would have probably just been thrown in a different place then. But I think if you've got two here, because it's kind of harder for them to throw for the sideline, isn't it? So if you have them, if you have those three like back, you're encouraging them to aim for the sideline, whereas they're not really encouraging the sideline here, are they? Um, more, more stats hot off the press from school, dude. An average of 0 0.76 rerolls expended on a 3 3 2. Oh, thank you very much, Skrull. Whereas it's a 0 0.5, right? Mm, on a, yeah. On, a, on the 4 plus. So. So not not that much more really when you mm. when you think about it, yeah. Mm. So maybe 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 it is worth the, the extra two percent chance of success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so marginal, isn't it? Thank you, yeah. Skrull. It's so marginal, the uh, the bonus. But then I guess you know ultimately it's there will be times when it's the correct yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. There will be times it's the correct play. If you absolutely have to stop the touchdown, then that is the play. Mm. But when you factor in the whole winning the game overall, you're probably you're probably happy to take the seventy-five percent chance. Yeah. Also the fact that it tops out at three, like having to use three on it would be horrendous, wouldn't it? Like yeah, like you have to be willing to use all three to get that extra two percent. Yeah, yeah, that that that's the average reroll usage. But yeah, the, the the range is much different. And um... to to get that final two percent more higher chance, you have to be willing to use all three rerolls. Yeah, don't you? Cheers, squirrel. Could they give him the catch a sprint? Yeah. The, what do you mean the Blood Bowl 3 gets you? Um, I guess because like, he could have just, just... Or he could just give him a sprint anyway. I don't know. Oh, oh sorry! <gasps> he got a... Yeah, he, he got a regular skill for a player, I get it, and he wasn't allowed to give it to the catcher. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, you no! So you you got the prayer on the cashier, but what? It wouldn't let you pick sprint. Is is that right, or what? What happened? Oh man, that's brutal. Oh yeah, look, he's got diving um, tackle. <laughs> oh, didn't get enough time for it. Oh man. Oh shit, that's dumb. Oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty horrendous. Got a diving tackle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, still has the half leg. That's yeah. the toss. Yeah. Got the ball. Can the tree man still throw if he roots? Oh yeah, good question. He can in Blood Bowl 2, of course, but who knows? <laughs> in Blood Bowl 1. In Blood Bowl 3, even. <laughs> Don't even know what the rules say. Because like, if his move, no. if his turn ends, like if his activation yeah, ends. Yeah. I know that he can't block because it uses a square of movement, right? But um... 2 does make the throw. It's not a perfect throw, but he makes the throw. You just don't use the reroll here. Nah, you? looking for a six. It's five? Oh, yeah, it's five because of strong arm, yeah. Oh. oh, and gets the world's shittest throw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even if he'd landed. He was, he was Literally the world's shittest throw. It's all, oh. all three backwards scatters. Oh, oh diced. Yeah. Well, um, I should have had the window here, shouldn't I? Right, there you go. That is. That is the match. Um, congratulations to Gadenic. Commiserations to Dolce. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Elliot, for joining us in the in the booth. Glorious. No, oh, yeah. Thank, thank you very much. And glad that we had this whole match to watch and you know, didn't know what was going to happen. Definitely, no one spoiled it earlier on. It was a fantastic game. Uh, yeah, commiserations, Dolce. Congrats to Gadenic. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.